Hello Nigerians, let us take this moment to break down the recent interview Faust the Bad Guy had on Afrobeat podcast about the allegations from Very Dark Man, Mr. Femi Falana, Shionkuti and the rest of it. I would want to analyze everything I heard and I would like us to be able to think together as Nigerians on what are the claims and what are the things he actually spoke about and what is the way forward what should be the perception of Nigeria at the moment about Faust the Bad Guy and Femi Falana? And I would also love to hear the comments of Nigerians and what are your own analysis on this particular subject. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do subscribe to the channel, like and share. Support the channel as we move forward on today's topic. He thought it wise to turn on his ring light, sit down and via direct statements, insinuations and innuendos say to uh, allege mm. that myself and my dad connived with some certain individuals to manipulate justice and bribe the efcc and adding <laughs> that the reason i've done this is because i have a homosexual relationship with bob Bristol. personally how did you feel how would anyone feel this is it, it's hor horrible things to say absolutely no proof few hours ago there is an interview that came up from Afrobeat podcast and the guest on it was Faust the Bad Guy and he was asked a lot of questions but later they moved from the music questions and they talked about the Very Dark Man lawsuit and the allegations that came from Very Dark Man and I listened to the words carefully that came out of Faust the Bad Guy and I would love to address everything he said or specifically the things he actually said concerning Very Dark Man. First of all, I realized he was not trying to call the name of Very Dark Man, but at the end of the day, the host had to call Very Dark Man's name. Initially, he started praising Very Dark Man. I don't know if we will call it praise, but I would say he acknowledged the work of Very Dark Man, regardless of the fact that he said he's not so much aware of Very Dark Man. He said the first time he knew about Very Dark Man was when Very Dark Man was doing a job around Naf Dark stuff and that was how he came in contact with Very Dark Man's work. And he felt Very Dark Man was doing something good regardless of the fact that he never wanted to pour out his full opinion simply because maybe if he has to pour out his full opinion, he might be downgrading the activism of Very Dark Man. He did not say that directly but when you play the video you would hear him say it. I don't want to put down the work of another man. The only time you will put down the work of another man is when you see something to criticize about the person. So there is a definite perception that is in his brain concerning the work of Very Dark Man. And then he spoke about the allegations. He said, Very Dark Man alleged, accused, in Windows and Nintendo, he said he was being accused of being an homosexual and his father Femi Falana who tends to be a great man was also being brought into the subject of them trying to collect money from far uh, from Bob Risky to get him some pardon but later he make a statement which I paid attention to when he said he was being alleged or accused of homosexual relationship with Bob Risky without any proof but wait 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 Nigerians when we want to talk about things we have to learn to listen I repeat that word carefully and I want Nigerians to listen. He was accused of homosexual relationship with Bob Risky without any proof. Sometimes people don't say things but they can be words in the details of what they say and information in their silence. He said homosexual relationship with Bob Risky without any proof. He did not say, first did not say that very dark man was lying. He said without proof now I don't intend to claim or to say that oh maybe or allege him to say he's actually an homosexual but I think for him to say without proof so that means if there was proof will he admit and if it was a lie just say it's a lie don't say the person does not have proof when I'm being accused of something and I did not do it. I would say the person lied. I don't need to use the word allegedly accused. That is a big lie. But let's leave that aside and assume. He didn't just have much words to put in that statement. Then he spoke about the civil suit 
and he simply make it clear that making money out of the civil suit is the best he can get. And he also said something about the defamation side and the criminal side of it that they should have taken the criminal side just exactly how his father portrayed or make his statement during the time he was on um, Channels TV. He also said some statement that actually makes sense and some of it he said he called Very Dark Man and he tried to have, have statement or quote words with Very Dark Man and Very Dark Man was defensive the moment they came on call. Very Dark Man refused to have a civil conversation with him and Very Dark Man used the statement like since you tend to be a lawyer you better go to court. And he said a statement that maybe Very Dark Man thinks that he wants to appear to the public to be a hero. Does that mean that we are praising Very Dark Man so much? And we are saying things that he doesn't deserve or we are putting him on the pedestal as africans i believe african is a land of believers and we always want to have somebody to believe in in the first place so we can see why we idolize a lot of celebrities and my question to him is if he was the same person that the whole nigerians are gravitating towards as far as the bad guy would he not be proud of himself and would he not be proud to be the man of the people but sometimes, to me, I see that as a statement of jealousy when we don't want somebody to appear to be hero. Let's just state the fact of the things that are wrong, of what our hero is doing wrong, or whatever the person who appears or who the people are calling at the moment, whatever the person is doing wrong. Because some people deserve to be praised regardless of the fact that they are human. And so Nigerians, for the vo um, voice of the voiceless, very dark man is the one representing at the moment. And so Nigerians are looking at him in a different light and that brought my thought to the case of Bob Risky and made me realize that when Faust the bad guy said something that when he called Bob, Bob denied the fact that he did not say those things but Faust knew definitely that Bob actually said those things. It was a phone call. Yes, Bob could have lied but Bob actually said it. Faust don't suppose to or is not supposed to pretend like he is not aware that Bob made that statement. I think that what Faust the bad guy should have done is to come on live or on social media and retrace that fact and say, Bob Risky, this is what we spoke about. This is what I told you. Do I have any relationship with you? Do I have anything to discuss with you at all? You can come to the public and make things clear if you do not want to carry the baggages around you. Perhaps you think the money is worth the name. And but let's say you win the 500 million pie, for example. And two years from now, Tinubu turns maybe a bag of rice to 2 million per bag. Don't you think you are going to lose? You have to be able to clear your name if everything they've said about you is a lie. Because one thing is this, there is a court of public opinion and there is a court of justice within the nation. And you might win in the court of justice basically because you follow certain protocol and you are a student of those people. But you might lose in the public eye and which would affect your reputation. In fact, it can affect children or those who are not even aware of it. So one of the best thing you can do is to win in the sight of the public opinion as much as you tend to be a celebrity. Or perhaps you love to be in the limelight. And he made a comment and said, Oh, now if you go on my page, you are going to see that a lot of things, there are all kinds of negative comments on my page. You, the question is, do you even think that if you want to reach change the mind of people it is by you having money from very dark man or you're supposed to call for an interview perhaps or people that will call very dark man bob risky and you guys should sit down and even have discussions on this and if very dark man is the one that is hadamant the world will begin to see very dark man for who he is like i am the person who just want to label people whatever i feel like labeling them but if you think that going to court as, uh, is going to solve the whole issue, then proceed. Let's see what the result is going to be. Here, I want to add a few things to this particular conversation, which has to do with a uh, very dark man and very white man. To me, the situation of very dark man anointing very white man, I do not see that to be a palatable way of doing things within the country. There's a new guy they call very white man, also a bodybuilder. Who wants to speak like very dark man who idolize very dark man and he begins to follow up with very dark man stuff and i'm questioning myself like what is the meaning of all this very dark man is a special individual and whatever he was doing resulted to what people love him doing so why would people go meet very dark man or someone go meet very dark man and say oh 
I'm going to give you a change so you are going to be the very white man and you are going to be doing the same thing that I am doing. Activism is not about anointing anyone. It is about the choice that people make. And then both of them make a statement which a um, very white man says, any money we go collect, any money where anybody they hold you will give you 24 hours. And I'm beginning to ask myself questions. Well, I think that very dark man needs to understand that no go carry people join body in the name of your anointing people or you want to raise um, some guys and the rest of it wants to do what you are doing ask yourself a question if very dark man was not successful in what he is doing fighting for the people will this particular guy want to rise up and join you if everyone wants to do activism everybody can do it in their way nobody needs to anoint anybody fella did activism in his way Probably, let us assume Femi Falana is also an activist or human rights activist. He did activism in his own way. Faz the bad guy is probably doing activism in his own way. Shionkuti is doing activism different from what his father used to do. <laughs> Though he might be adding up music to it, but he comes maybe weekly and he talks to the people to awaken the consciousness and the ignorance of our nigerians so that we can wake up to the call on calling out our politicians and the people in government and the people in the power every activist aisha yusuf has her own method of doing things so very white man to very dark man i think that the intention behind it is good but i think at the long run it's going to be bad please i know most very dark man fans might be upset with what i say but just mark this word never unsubscribe first mark this word first Anyone who wants to be an activist should be an activist because you want to be an activist, not because you want to gain what Very Dark Man or the fame that Very Dark Man has gained. With that being said, I've come to the end of today's conclusion looking at the situation of what Faust the Bad Guy say. And I think that for Faust the Bad Guy, yes, he's still going to continue his music because he has fans all over the world. Most people in other countries will not take him serious just like the way Nigerians are taking his situation serious with the Bobrisky thing. But I will say this. Faz needs to hold Bob Risky serious and then go to the court with VDM. Perhaps that's what you want to do. But if that's going to change the reputation, all you need is to say apology. I did not say these things. I have no ties with Bob Risky and say it publicly. State your claim and let Bob Risky also. If Bob Risky says, oh, I'm not the one who said that thing. Let Bob Risky continue and prove it in court or prove it in the house of rep. But by now, I think, um, Faust, you need to stop looking at it from the aspect of very dark man. You need to start looking at it from what Bob Risky actually said, because we all know Bob Risky said that particular thing. The question is, why would Bob Risky have called your name and lied on you? Perhaps it is a lie. And until then, we keep watching each other. When you are revolutionary and you t talk the truth, people will come and slap you down. Then you talk the truth again, they lock you in jail. Them never hear anything at all. Then go here, pansa pansa. When you are revolutionary and you t talk the truth, people will come and slap you down. Then you talk the truth again, they lock you in jail. Them never hear anything at all. Then go here, pansa pansa.